Hi, I'm Ashlyn Kai Hartwick with Casey, the Kansas Association for Conservation and Environmental Education, and I'm excited to be here today with Gary Keene from Jackson Heights High School and Chase Gigstad, also a student from Jackson Heights High School. Um, and today what we're doing is we are filming one of our video series on local Kansas professionals and students who are either in careers or are taking classes related to water quality and water conservation in Kansas. So we're going to be talking with Gary and Chase today and they're going to be sharing a little bit about what they do and how that relates to water quality and water conservation. Awesome. So Gary, I think we'll go ahead and start with you. Right, thank you. So Gary, if you could tell us a little bit about what you do, where you work, um, and how what you do is connected to water quality. Okay. Again, I'm Gary Keene. I, I teach at Jackson Heights High School. I teach life sciences. Um, this will be my 25th year of teaching water quality and quantity in the state of Kansas. Um, I am blessed by have, being able to have a program where I can teach students out in the field as much as possible. And in doing that, it, water quality and water quantity is just a simple fit of giving students an opportunity to learn. Perfect. What would you say the best part of your job is? The best part of my job is being able to get outside and mm -hmm. be able to show students that uh, what they're learning in the classroom um, is real life, real world, and school allows me to do that so we can uh, come out to places like this and to be able to apply some of the stuff in the classroom and uh, just seeing the lights click on. Oh, absolutely. So how does the work that you do, and specifically that work that you do with your students, how does that help to improve water quality and water conservation? Well, first of all, we, we start in the classroom learning about just some of the basics by uh, learning how to do watershed management and understanding where the water goes to, especially in surface water and some groundwater studies. And, and we just start with those basics with some chemi chemistry tests. And from there, we uh, add on to that and build on to that. By their sophomore year, they're learning about the biological part of water quality and water quantity. We're, we're in streams and doing macro samples. We're sanding for minnows and different types of fish. And they're learning that this water quality and quantity affects the living things as well as us as humans for drinking water. And then later on in the classes in chemistry, they do more chemical tests where they understand um, the water tests um, even pertain to them more like uh, drinking water more than the surface water. Um, they do bacterial tests and nitrates and phosphates. And then the, the class that I have to say I have the most fun with is my wildlife class. We get outside, we get to manage the trails out here, we get to manage the systems that we've set up, and they get to tie all those tests together and tie it into fisheries and aquatics management. Fantastic. So what would you say are the benefits and the challenges to improving water quality and water conservation? The benefits is being able to work with the kids and seeing that they they can be out there and they could be able to learn and to see what they're learning hopefully makes more sense. Um, mm -hmm. And it's great for me when I know that I can at least try and see that I've impacted some of them and knowing that they can go on. Uh, the biggest challenges for us uh, in school here at Jackson Heights is more the grants to be able to have equipment to be able to keep them up on um, the latest technology so that way if they go on past here and get jobs that they will be up on it and and then also just encouraging them that the that people do listen to them and uh, those are huge challenges for them to realize that adults do listen. Why do you do this? Why is this important to you? Why do you do what you do? First of all, I love being in the outdoors. I love what we have out here. I love the nature of Kansas. And water is just what it all lives off of. It flourishes off the water. And, and I enjoy the nature we have. And I enjoy that we can be in a state that we can um, have good, safe drinking water. And uh, that's, since I, we have that, I've grown up with that. I've grown up along the Kansas River fishing my whole life. And, and now I just want to give that to the students. I want them to take it, you know, be able to uh, take this in their hands and that I know that as, as I get older that there's going to be people excited about it as well. Awesome. And so what would you want other Kansas, Kansans, specifically Kansas kids, to know about a career and how it can connect to water quality and water conservation like yours does? There's, there's lots of opportunities. I mean, they can be looking into careers uh, for KDHE, working with water quality and testing there. Um, we've had some students doing jobs even with the Kansas Wildlife and Parks, going into fisheries and into wildlife management and um, just having some basic knowledge of water and what it does for us and, and understanding the makeup of the water and the living things in the water uh, gives them those opportunities to get 
careers and maybe have a heads up about even some colleges that have opportunities. Um, I hope also more than anything else that every student that leaves knows that they can make a difference, whether it be in just simple things they do at home or things that they might have an opportunity to speak with others. I like giving students opportunity to speak with adults or speak with professionals about what they're doing in the classroom and that empowers them and I hope I want them to know that the adults do listen and they do know that they that they can change things and uh, maybe it will start with our kids. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gary, for sharing about what you do and how that connects to water quality and water conservation. If folks want to find out more about all the neat stuff you have going on here, how should they contact you? They can contact me at gary.keen, that's K-E-E-H-N, at jhcobras.net. And I'd be more than happy to help tie them into the program and or just visit with them about what we do out here at our site. Perfect. Thank you, Gary. I think we're going to go ahead and talk to Chase a little bit now, too. <laughs> Thanks, Ch Thanks, Gary. All right, so Chase, can you tell us yes. a little bit about your project with Elkhart Lake and what you did there? Yeah, so um, Mr. Keene came to us in our chemistry class this year, and he told us about the lake and how there was blue-green algae in it, and so we w decided to try to do something about it. So we got on um, Google Earth, and we looked at an aerial view of Elkhorn Lake and everything around it and we figured out the highest elevation points around it to see where all the nitrates and phosphates and all the fertilizers were coming from that go into the lake mm -hmm. to um, let the people know in those areas like what they can do to prevent the blue-green algae growing. Fantastic. And you, did you, we were able to contact the city council and let Yeah, them know? we contacted them and we gave them one of our maps so they could cool. see exactly where the highest points were all the water was running into and everything. Fantastic. What was your favorite part about that project? What was your favorite part? Um, just get, like actually getting involved and seeing that it's a real thing and that we can do something about it. Uh -huh. And um, just edu just educating other people about what like that they can actually do something to sure. to help the lake awesome. and everything and in it. So yeah. what why why did, why is it important to you? Why are water water quality and water conservation? Why are those things important to you? Well, I mean, water is one of our largest resources on this earth, and it's mm -hmm. limited. Like, it's not just going to, like, we're not always going to have beautiful, crystal clear water. So it's definitely important to do something about it and to uh, keep it pure and do what we can to um, keep it nice. To uh, what would you want other Kansas kids to know about that kind of work, and, and what was the, the big take home for you? Like, wow, this was cool. What would I want other kids to know? Um, just like Mr. Keen said, like, we can do something about it. It's not just, oh, someone else will do something about it. Like, we need to take charge and do something about it today and um, get involved and just educate people, I think, because people just don't know um, what they can do and that, you know, putting too much fertilizer on your grass is a bad thing because it affects a lot of things in the water. So just educating people. And so, thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Well, if you would like more information about Casey, the Kansas Association for Conservation and Environmental Education, you can always contact us as well at www.kacee.org, and you know how to get a hold of Gary. So thank you guys both so much.